Good morning, Sima. You are first. Good morning, everybody. Good morning. And let's see this. Let's make this so you guys can see me. All right. That's perfect. All right. All right. All right. So it's a beautiful day. I got a mosquito bite. Hopefully it doesn't affect my workout. So today's workout, um, it's going to be dumbbells and kettlebells or kettlebells and dumbbells. So it's going to be a nice one. Um, I have a lot of single, single um, kettlebell workouts. I think we got to, I'm up to 17 workouts. And so I'm going to start doing, I'm going to start doing now on Wednesdays. It's going to be uh, the first half. It's going to be kettlebells. Second half is going to be dumbbells. So those, those are going to be two ladders. And, and today it's going to be a little bit challenging, a lot of stabilization, but it's going to be fun. Uh, with that said, uh, I'm going to post here what my pre-workout is. Do you guys want to know about what my pre-workout? Um, basically, I usually have like a, a Gatorade Zero, right? The Zero Gatorade. And then I also have the buy, and I kind of like mix and match. I put them in and mix and match. But in terms of health, right? Some in terms of health, I use this, the brain and body and stamina seven mushroom, mushroom powders, are uh, super good for your health and and uh, energy, inflammation, mental. So I highly recommend um, the mushroom supplements and I take the, the BCAs, right? The aminos uh, for, for muscle support. And, and today I'm having one of these because I, have, I haven't had one for a while. So I'll drink this and then I'll start sipping on my, on my, on my pre intra post workout. Uh, remember the rules. So the rules are play it safe. If there's an exercise you can't do, find an easier way to do it. If it's a complex movement when we have multiple movements, only do the movements you can do. If there's a movement that's way too complicated, then, then find the easiest way to do the exercise. That's number one. Number two, play your own music. Blast your own music. Put it loud. Uh, music is... It's just great to, to really pump you up. Um, el codo, el codo. Uh, Simena, para el codo. For the guys, she said that her, her elbow hurts, Simena. So for those of you who are watching and don't speak Spanish, her elbow hurts. And more than likely, if it's not from hitting it, if it's from exercise, more than likely, you have your tricep tight and your forearms tight. So you have to stretch your forearms. And the, the forearms, remember, so you can do this stretch right here, this way, where you pull like this, and when you go like this. So you, you stretch out your, your, your extensors and your flexors. And so you got to stretch them both out. And then you got to stretch out your tricep, uh, specifically depending where it hurts. If it hurts at that bottom, right, you want to stretch out the, the inner hip. But I mean, really, when you stretch your tricep, you stretch the whole tricep. And what you can do is you can do this stretch where you go behind and you, and you stretch down. Um, but you also got to stretch out. Um, you can use a, a, a foam roller. But more than anything, if you just do both, you can get a towel. And then with one hand, so you'll grab the towel, throw it behind your shirt, grab it by the back, and then pull, and that's going to pull this down. So try that first. Stretch those two every day, maybe three times, three times, um, three times during the day. Stretch out your tricep and stretch out and stretch out this your your extensors. You can also do it when you get on all four. Which we're gonna do today. We're gonna stretch out the forearms because and the wrists, so you get wrist mobility, and uh, we're gonna do that today. So you're gonna have to do that at least three times a day, maybe 15 minutes, and it will, it should get better. 
Now, remember what I do uh, to, to protect myself. Um, what I do is I, I put on my strap. So I put on, I put on this strap right here. And what it does is like, um, so Kelly, so this strap is specifically for elbow pain and it's not a cure. It, it's only like uh, to help you get through the workout. So I'm going to wear it today. I actually almost forgot to wear it. Thank you for, for telling me because I, I got to remind you. But my pain is right here on the inside. So the big part of this goes there and then I strap it on. And what that does is it alleviates, it alleviates some of the pressure uh, from the elbow, from the joint. And it kind of like uh, helps you get through the workout. But you still have to stretch the triceps, stretch out your flexors. And what I do, um, I mean, I'm 185 pounds, uh, 180. And what I do is I'll take like, um, after the workout, I'll take like 800 milligrams of ibuprofen. Not every day. I only do it like once a week, usually after the chest, shoulders, and triceps day. Or, some, or something where I did a lot of like, um, let's say I did a lot of like, a lot of holding, then I would, I would, uh, I'll take an ibuprofen. So again, this is on my website. You can buy this on my website. I have a, I have a, a tools, right? So if you guys go here, let me show you working out, um, equipment, equipment, equipment. Give me a second training tools. And it should be, it should be here. Okay, so go to this website. Go to this website, and you can find this. You can find this this thing, right? And again, this is only to help you. It's not a solution. The solution is stretch, stretch out first, and then work on your weaknesses. So that's how, that's where I would start. All right. Ceci, good morning. All right, guys. So again, uh, basic. Remember, so uh, back again. Real quick, rules. Complex exercises. If there's an exercise you can't do, avoid the exercise or skip one of them. If it's if it, if you can't squat, quarter squat, half squat, or don't do the squat. But I want you to focus on technique. First round, focus on technique. If you have any injuries, again, if you have bad ankles, bad knees, don't jump. And I'll give you, I'll give you additional. Play your own music loud because I'm not gonna play any music. And uh, due to the copyright issues, and use weights that you can handle. And let's go. We're gonna start warming up, and we're gonna get, we're gonna get into the workout. Make sure you turn on everything. So I'm gonna turn on my, my Fitbit. So I can get going, get, get this warm up started, and I'm gonna turn on the, uh, the the strain meter, so you guys can see how hard we go. It's 11:11. Make sure you guys make a wish, and the wish is that I don't die today, because today's workout is gonna be. I don't think it's gonna be crazy, but again, I always say that. And strain activity. Here we go. Functional fitness. Three, two, one. We are ready. Let's go. Woo! All right. Let's start with we're gonna work. It's a full body workout, so we're gonna have a nice, nice full stretch. So let's start with arm circles. Remember what I always say. So arm circles, you open your arms wide, and then your shoulder blades, you squeeze them. So you bring them in tight, right? You tighten your shoulder blades, your chest goes back. When you whenever you whenever you Tighten your shoulders, your shoulder blades. When they when they retract and squeeze, your chest your chest comes up automatically. That's where I want you to be, and I want you to hold. So notice how here I'm wider, right? And then now I'm more narrow, and I want to hold that as I do the circles, okay? And hold the hold that contraction. It's gonna help you a ton. Let's go. So retract, arm circles. Go forward. 
small, comfortable. As you get more warmed up, you can make them bigger, but maintain that retraction on the shoulder blades. Teach your body to hold and stabilize your shoulder blades. Stick out your chest, squeeze the back, like stay in good, straight position. Right here. Keep going. We gotta warm up really well. And let's go over and under, right here. Shake it, over and under. Big, big slaps. Keep it going, right here. One arm goes over, one arm goes under, and then you keep alternating which arm goes over, which arm goes under. Okay, next. Now we're going to, same thing, we're gonna retract again, but we're gonna go the opposite direction. So if you're going forward, you're gonna go backwards. If you're going backwards, you're gonna go forward. Thumbs up, arms locked, and then start. I'm, gonna, I'm going backwards. Maintaining my shoulder blades tight, as tight as possible, super tight, right here. Chest up. I want to learn. I want to learn to keep my shoulder blades down. That's why today we're going to have some exercises that are going to challenge your, 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 your stability. And I feel a lot better. I feel much more capable. I feel more range of motion. I feel more flexible. So I'm going to try these workouts today. Workouts that I probably couldn't do a little, not too long ago. And shake it off. Let's go over and under. Same thing. Retract your shoulder blades. Over and under. All right, my arms go really back. So they stretch my chest. And then I squeeze my chest. Stretch the chest. Squeeze the chest. And shake it off. Okay. Let's start going. Marching. Let's start marching. Remember with the march, opposite arm, opposite leg. So knee, opposite knee and opposite elbow come together at the top. And I want you to start doing this. If you can touch, I want you to touch without bending over. Stay straight. I want you to exaggerate. I want you to really bring that knee to the elbow and the other arm extends. Watch, extend. Extend, and the other, the other ones are touching. I want you to keep doing this. That way when you run, when you march, you understand the good, proper movement of the body. And shake it off. Now we're going to do the butt kicks. Bring that knee and crush the egg. Remember, I always say crush the egg. You have an egg on the back of your thigh, and you're going to... Crush it as hard as you can, right? Crush it, crush it, crush it. So you really have to squeeze so you can hit those hamstrings and get them strong, get a movement, right? Get some movement there. So same thing, but this time you're gonna go, right? But the same side is gonna touch the heel and my hand is gonna be on my ear and then I'm gonna switch, right? So I crush the egg. My opposite arm touches my head, and I want you to do it. I want you to exaggerate it. Even if you're slower, I want you to just focus on this. All right? Ready? And let's go. Start going. If you can touch your toes, fantastic. If you can only touch your heel, fantastic. As long as you're trying to squeeze that egg, you're trying to crush the egg. Squeeze those hamstrings. Keep going. Just like this. Get it. Come on. You're going to feel a little bit of a stretch on your quads. Woo. And shake it off. Now, we're going to go arm circles. I mean, we're going to do Frankenstein. So Frankenstein's, we are going to go big circles, touching the toes, kicking up. If you can't touch without hunching over, that's fine. I'd rather you do this and do your best to touch without coming forward, to force it. Don't force it. 
Eventually, you'll get your foot high enough where you can touch without bending over. All right, let's just go. Start doing big circles. Arms wide, wide like you're swimming with wide hands, reaching, reaching, right? You're swimming. Pretend you're in the ocean and you're swimming. Get that full range of motion. All right, ready? Let's go. Big circles, big kicks. Make sure you're breathing. Stretch it out. Then shake it off. Woo! All right, on over and under again. Over and under. All right. So today, today we're doing a lot of snatching overhead things. So today, wrist mobility is going to be critical to today's workout. You have to have great wrist mobility today. So, so this Jimena, this is for you because it's going to help you with the wrist pain. But no matter what, you guys should be doing this whenever you're doing anything that has to do with mobility. Snatches, cleaning, you guys should be getting. If you have bad mobility with your arms, with your hands, if you can't hold the dumbbell like this, if you can't do a snatch, you're having a hard time and your wrist can't bend, that's, that causes problems with your wrist. So what we're going to do, right, we're going to get on all fours. And what I want you to do is wide fingers, wide fingers, and we're gonna go, we're gonna go backwards a little bit, and then we're gonna go forward. Keep your arms straight as possible, right? And then, and then just stretch as far as you can go for a couple seconds, then go back. Go forward, one, two, go back. One, two, go back. Just bring those shoulders in front, one, two, as far as you can. Some of you are already going to go to here and say, ow, oh, it hurts already. But if you can go way past, go way past. And today, this is going to be very important today. So just keep going as far as you can go and just stretch. Now, right now, we're doing this in movement. Two seconds, stretch. This is movement. This is dynamic. At the end of your workout, you're going to hold it for about 10 seconds, going as far as you can, right, about 15 seconds. But that's at the end of the workout or later on today. And shake it off. Now, I want you guys to be careful with this one, very careful. So you're on your knees, and you're going to put your wrist, so you're going to go hands down, and then in front of you a little bit, and then just let it, just let your, your weight, right, put your weight on on your arms right here like this, open your fingers, right? And then just stretch it out. Uh, for me, now I'm more comfortable with it because I've been practicing it. But not too long ago, just, just go like this would hurt. I'm like, oh, oh, and I thought I could never do it. Now I can put weight on it without a problem because my, my wrists are one much more mobile, much more. Way more flexibility, right? Grab, close, open, and open your fingers, right? So contract your fingers and shake it off. All right? Now you're going to go sideways like this. Put it on the sides and go side to side. Right here, side. Like we do, like that stretch that we do. But one arm goes straight, one arm moves. Move those shoulder blades. And shake it off. Trust me. That right there today is going to play a major role on your workout. Major, right? Okay. Now what we're going to do, we're going to do a high knees for speed, right? As fast as you can. If you can't, if you can't um, go high, full speed on your toes and for speed, right? If that's too much, too much of a hit, uh, too much impact, I want you to march fast. All right? As fast as you can. If not, we're doing the the high knees. We got a 20 count. Ready? And let's go. Two, four, six, eight, 10, 12, 14, 
16, 18, 20. Shake it off. Woo! All right, now we're going to do the butt kicks. Same thing. If you can't do it for speed, I want you to one at a time. As fast as you can. Make it dynamic. Make it more intense. But for the rest of us, we got 20 for speed. Practicing that moving the hands. Don't do it with your hands down. Forceful hands. All right, same thing. Ready? And let's go. Two, four, six, eight, 10, 12, 14, 16, 18, 20. All right. Woo, I think we're ready. I think we're ready to go. Grab a little something to drink. Shake your wrist. All right, keep shaking the wrist. Because today, remember, kettlebell swings, kettle, anything with kettlebells, really, it's all about your wrist mobility. So you want to make sure that your wrists are able to move and you have great flexibility. So you go here, right? So keep that elbow in, push down. That's going to stretch. All right, push it down just like this. I think actually this is better than, than going out here. Here, you actually get a little bit of the bicep. Right here, all right here. Just keep doing this, all right. After the workout, you can just do this. Twenty seconds, twenty seconds, twenty seconds, twenty seconds, and keep doing that. So, Simena, that's what you need to do until this goes away, and do the tricep, the tricep stretches. All right, guys, here we go. So. For those of you who are new and are here joining us um, after the workout, remember, we always do the ladder drills. The ladder, it's an up and down ladder system. I'm trying to trademark that, but um, up and down ladder system. We got X exercises. Today, first circuit, we have three exercises. We're going to go from one to three to one. So one, two, three, two, one. If we do a double ladder, it'll be one, two, three, two, one, two, three, two, one. So the reason is three. Is because the second exercise is going to be a killer. And then the second ladder with the dumbbells is four exercises. So we're gonna go one, two, three, four, three, two, one, and we do a double ladder immediately back to two, three, four, three, two, one. And then so that's, that's the double ladder. First round, to the, what we did right now, I call it the pre warm up. Now I'm gonna do my warm up. My warm up means I'm gonna focus on technique, I'm gonna go lighter. Take a little bit more time. I'm not going to go as intense. I just want to build a sweat. Um, so that's for the first, first two ladders. The second round, now I go hard. I go heavier. I go more intense, less breaks. We're probably going to flow. Well, I'll see how the workouts go. We'll probably flow. That means you can't drop the dumbbell or the kettlebells throughout the exercise. If you do drop it, it's, it's uh, 10 push-ups. So when, whenever we flow. Let me show you the first ladder, and then we'll go from there. All right. So, first thing first, we are going to do the swings. When we do, when we do kettlebell swings, with the kettlebells, we start from the gorilla position. Your back is straight. You're, you're, you're grabbing the kettlebell in front of you. Don't lean too forward because you don't want to fall on it. You want to have good balance. You take a deep breath. You drag and go. Right? Deep breath, slight bend on the elbows to keep that kettlebell controlled. You stay high on your crotch, slight bend on the knees, hip hinge, and explode. We have 10 swings, 10 with a double, double grip, and then 10 with a single grip. Remember on the single grip, right, when I'm up here, one arm is here, one arm is swinging, and then I switch, one arm goes back, See that? One arm goes back. I stay high, all right, and I brace. I'm always doing a rotation. When my thumb goes down, my thumb goes up with kettlebells. And I always switch at the peak. Switch at the peak. Switch. Don't switch at the bottom. That makes it more difficult. You're more likely to drop the kettlebell. Makes the workout harder. We want to be efficient. So we have 10 double-handed swings, 10 single-handed swings. On the way back from the ladder, we go 10 single-handed swings, 10 
double-handed swings. That will finish the ladder. If we do a double ladder, after the 10 doubles, we go back to the single. All right? Just, and you'll, you'll see what that, well, how that goes. Then we have an alternating snatch windmill with an overhead squat. This is where that mobility comes, in, come in, comes into play. Not only that, but your mobility of your legs. So if you can squat all the way down, great. If you can't, do a quarter squat just for tension. It'll be up to you. So the exercise looks like this. So we're going to go from a, from a swinging position. We're going to – oh, by the way, make sure that your, your, your watch, the face, is pointing down. So on the bottom of your wrist. Because when you do the, the snatch, it's going to hit – it's going to hit your watch. Unless you're doing dumbbells, if you're using a kettlebell – all right, turn that, turn it around right now so you don't damage your, your watch. So it's going to look like this. We're going to snatch. Boom. That's a snap. You keep it close to your body. You explode. You catch it at the top. We're going to do a windmill. So the windmill, there's various ways to do it. Do it the way that you know how to do it. My way, the way that I like to do it, is I, slide, I, I lean over to the side. I keep everything contracted. My shoulder blades is... is being pulled down, I'm pulling my shoulder blade down so I can have this stability. I do like a slight side, uh, side, uh, I lean to the side a little bit. So I, I bend my, my left leg on this one. I'm holding with my right and then I'm straightening out the other leg. And then, so wherever my arm is, I'm slightly bending that leg and I'm keeping the other one straight. And then I reach down straight, making a straight line with my body, if I can touch the floor and bring my hip, my, my, my arm down, great. I look up to keep my chest open and then I come up. So that's the windmill, all right? Again, so you, so wherever arm is gonna go down, that's the leg you're gonna slightly bend. You slight bend and you also hip hinge. So my hip goes back, right? My hip goes back, I reach down, I look up, my other leg is straight, I come up. And there's other ways you can do it, right? You can do it like a little bit, you can do it like this, where both arms, right, I'm, I'm, I'm kind of squatting a little bit, and I come up, up to you. After you come up from the windmill, overhead squat, boom. And then we're gonna switch from the top, right? Boom, snatch, keep that balance, shoulder blade down, Windmill, I look up, reach down, if I can touch the floor, flat hand, great, come up, overhead squat, arm in front, boom, and switch. So we're going to do 10 of those. That's why we're only doing, that's why we're only doing three exercises on this one, because we're going to do 10, and then we're going to come back and do another 10. So it's going to be a lot of stability today. Um... Just do your best. With a, with a dumbbell, it'll be the same thing. So with a dumbbell, right? So remember, with dumbbells, we always, instead of doing a gorilla, we do a hip, we do a hinge and go. So you put the dumbbell on your thigh, you snatch, look up, down, up, home, and then switch. Right, swing, snatch, same thing, windmill, overhead squat, same thing. Remember with the dumbbells, we don't do thumbs up, thumbs down. Thumbs is always, so my thumb, the dumbbell is always facing the same direction. All right, with the kettlebells, we're, we're doing natural rotation. And then the last one is a side to side, swing to front raise. So if you do it with a dumbbell, okay, you're going to start from a swing, then you're going to step to the side into a side lunge, but you're also going to do a front raise. So, right there. Swing, hold it. Swing, hold it. All right? I'm going to do this one with my kettle grip. If you guys don't have a kettlebell, this little tool is fantastic, right? You can convert your, your dumbbells into kettlebells, so you can do swings and a few other exercises, okay? If you want to, like, just mimic 
Well, basically what I'm going to do is, again, I'm going to swing, front raise, from the top grip, from the top grip. Always holding the top grip. And, and this is awesome because you can do swings, right? You can do the, you can do these. There's a lot of things you can do. For me, what I did today is because I want to go 15 pounds for the shoulder blades because I want to focus on contraction. Uh, the kettlebell is 30 pounds. I might do it on my strength round, but as far as my warm up, I'm going to use this one because it's, it's a, it basically it's a, a 15 pound, 15 pound kettlebell. That's what it basically is. All right. So that's it. Three exercises and we're ready to go. So grab, grab a little something to drink and it's time to go. Marisol, good morning. All right. So let's start with the swings. 10, 10 swings, double-handed, and then 10 single-handed. All right, here we go. Get in gorilla position or in hinge and go if you're using dumbbells. All right, 10 and 10, let's go. And get it, one, two, three, four, five, six, Seven, eight, nine, ten. Single handed. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Awesome. All right. Now, windmill, all right? Snatch, windmill, overhead squat, and switch. Take your time. The windmill. If you can't go all the way down, just do a little bit of, just do this, all right? A little bit of a twist, just twist your shoulders, look up, that's all you have to do, if that's too hard, and then you switch. And also, if you, if you can't switch from the top, bring it to your shoulders, and then switch from there. You can do a press or a snatch, up to you, as long as you get it to overhead, all right? If, you, if it's the snatch is too hard, go lighter, and try to, try to press it in a continuous, continuous fashion. Here we go. Snatch, windmill, overhead squat. First one, and, so I'm gonna snatch, boom, windmill, look up, overhead squat. One, and I'm gonna switch, boom. Snatch, windmill, overhead squat. That's two. Switch. Snatch. Windmill. Overhead squat. That's three. Snatch. Windmill. Overhead squat. That's four. Switch. Snatch. Windmill. Overhead squat. That's five. Switch. Snatch. Windmill. Up. That's six. Switch. Snatch. Windmill. Overhead squat. That's seven. Snatch, windmill, up. That's eight. Two more. Let's go. Snatch, windmill, up, down. One more. Woo. Snatch, windmill, over squat. That's 10. Outstanding. All right. Now we have swing. Swing and side lunge front raise. So starting from a wide position. And from this position, immediately you go to the side lunge and you front raise. We have 10 alternating. 
Here we go. I'm gonna start from the gorilla position. I'm gonna swing and go. Deep breath and go. Right here. That's one. That's two. That's three. That's four. That's five. That's six. That's seven. That's eight. That's nine. That's 10. Perfect. All right. Back to the windmills. Back to those windmills. Here we go. So snatch, windmill, overhead squat. Here we go. Deep breath and snatch, windmill, overhead squat. One, switch, snatch, windmill, overhead squat. That's two. Switch, snatch, windmill, squat. That's three. Switch, snatch, windmill, come up, squat. That's four. Switch, windmill. Squat, that's five. Switch, snatch, keep that shoulder blade down. Windmill, down, that's six. Snatch, windmill, look up, down, that's seven. Snatch, windmill, come up. That's eight, two more. Snatch, windmill, down. One more, up, windmill, overhead squat. That's 10, outstanding. And then 10 single arm swings, 10 double handed. So single arm swings, let's go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Double handed. One, be careful, don't drop it. Two, take your time. Three, four, Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Woo! Now, right there is the end of that round. So, woo! Those windmills, those are hard, but so good for you when you do them correctly. And those overhead squats, fantastic for you. So, that was a mini. That was a mini uh, ladder. One, two, three, two, one. And remember, we always finish the swings. We start double, single, then we come back to single, we finish with double. And then back to single once we go to the second round. Woo! Uh, got something to drink. Now we're going to ladder number two. Now you need two dumbbells. That's what we need now. Two dumbbells, and we'll go from there. In the description, if you don't know how to use dumbbells in lieu of kettlebells, in the description, I have a dumbbell with kettlebell workout, right? Uh, kettlebell with dumbbell workout. So go there, do that workout, and do it, and do it until you get good at it. It's a leg day, so you're going to burn a lot of calories, and you're going to develop some great legs. Here we go. So, second round. Here's what we're doing. I'm gonna use 15s. So, 
Gonna start with a, a hinge, hinge and go. Remember, so with, the, with dumbbells, we hinge and we go and we start the swings. We are gonna do 10. From there, we are gonna do a, a 90 degree bicep hold, squat, and tricep extension skier. And we've done this. It's the, so we're gonna put our feet together like we're doing a, a, a close stand squat. And remember, remember we did this is we do the skier, the skier swing. And the skier swing basically is we, we squat, right? So we squat and then we can do a tricep extension, right? Where you extend the arms parallel to the floor, right? And you can also curl. That's the, that's the, that's the skier swing. So you tricep, you squat, and then you come up into this, into a bicep, into a bicep hold. But that's not what we're doing today. What we're doing today is a 90 degree bicep hold into the, the tricep squat. Woo! I'm getting a little rash, I guess, from the shirt, maybe, right? From doing the from doing this. Okay. So it's, it's gonna look like this. It's gonna look like this. We're gonna keep our feet, everything's gonna stay the same, right? But we're gonna do a 90 degree, right? I like to pull the dumbbells together, so I, I put them together. I'm gonna squat and then 90 degrees, squat, skier, tricep extension. 90 degrees, skier, tricep extension, right? My arms are straight, notice, I go into a tricep kickback and extend. So I unload, boom, come back to this position. We are gonna do 10 of those. Then we have a swing to press with an overhead squat. So double swing, boom, right here. Then we press, lock it up, overhead squat, that's super hard for me because of my mobility, but I gotta learn. I'm gonna go as best as I can and do it again. Swing, press, overhead squat, right? So my mobility is better now. I'm still bending my elbows a little bit because I'm not, I'm not 100% there yet, but the idea is to try to keep those arms locked and keep everything steady so you can get those that overhead squat without dropping the without dropping the without dropping the uh the dumbbells man i have like a rash i think it's from the shirt uh, from one of the exercises i'm not sure which one but i'll fight it I'll, I'll fight through it and so we're gonna do we're gonna do 10 of those then we got us then we have the back fly to a front raise. So the back fly, okay? Now the front raise, you don't have to go all the way up. I only want you to lift it up to wherever you can, under control and tight. So it looks like this. So I'm here, I'm gonna do a back fly, and then I'm gonna go in front of my knees, I'm gonna go forward, right there, keep my arms, keep my shoulders tight, bring it back down. So I'm keeping those shoulder blades tight, holding the dumbbell, right? Then I'm gonna go back to a fly, hold, come back. We're gonna do 10 of those. On the back fly, on the back fly, your elbow should be slightly bent, slightly bent, and you don't change the angle. So remember, anything that's a fly, chest fly, back fly, the angle of my arms don't change. I fly, as soon as you bend the elbow, you pull in, now you're pulling, now you're rowing. That's a row. You have to maintain the angle. Swing it back, stick out your chest, squeeze your back, bring it down. Keep the back straight, raise, bring it down. I'm gonna do a two count, a two second count on that front raise, okay? And then the back fly, 
So when you do the front raise, you're at the knee, same knee position. So you front raise, the separation should be your knees. But then when you go back to the fly, bring the dumbbells together, fly, bring them back, back to position, okay? Bring them together, fly, stop at the knees, front raise, bring them together, fly, stop at the knees, front raise, we're gonna do that, all right? And that's it, so 10, 10, 10, 10. Let me grab a little bit more drink, and here we go. Woo! Man, guys, I'm, if this thing gets worse, I might have to take my shirt off. So I apologize in advance for those of you who don't want to see me without a shirt. Uh, but it's like I have, like, red, and I think it's from the shirt. Or maybe not, because the shirt is really low, so I don't understand how it's hitting me so, so up here. All right. And it's both, both sides, so it's, it's crazy. Maybe I'm squeezing a little tighter today than, than normal. Here we go. So we're going to start with the, with the swings. All right. We're going to start with the swings. Start, I'm starting with 15s. All right. I'm a little bit wider than normal because I have to get, I have to have enough space for the dumbbells to get through. We have 10 swings, 10. All right. You're going to hinge and go. Ready? And hinge and go. Let's go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And bring it back to your thighs. Now we're going to put our feet together on the outside. We're going to curl. All right, we're going to curl. If you want to do a little bit of a, of a momentum, I'm fine with it. So you hinge. And you go into your 90 degree hold. We're gonna squat and then we're gonna go into the swing and skier. Okay? So swing, ski, tricep extension. Make sure that that tricep extension is a kickback. You're straightening out that arm in that bottom position. You're straightening out the arms to work out, to work out your triceps. All right? Here we go. So swing into the 90 degree, hold it 90 degrees. We're gonna squat. Ready? And squat and skier. Up. Back to 90 degrees. Squat, skier. That's two. Squat, skier. That's three. Squat, skier. That's four. Squat, skier. That's five. Squat, skier. That's six. Squat, skier. That's seven. Keep your hands close. Squat. So keep them close into the into the extension, into the kickback. Eight. Squat. Kick. Nine. Squat. Kick. That's ten. Outstanding. Woo! Now we're going back. I'm gonna drop them down a little bit. I'm gonna, so now we go squat, press, and you're doing an overhead overhead squat. Here we go. All right. So again, this one is as hard as, as hard for me as it is for you. Just do your best, go as low as you can, maintaining as best technique as you can. Here we go. So hinge, clean it, press it, squat. That's one. Clean, press. Squat, that's two. Clean, squat, that's three. Clean, press, squat, that's four. Clean, press, squat, that's five. Clean, Press, squat, that's six. Clean, press, squat, that's seven. Clean, press, squat, that's eight. Clean, press, that's nine. 
One more. Clean. Press. That's 10. Woo! That is so hard. So hard. All right. Back fly to bent over. Right, bent over back fly to press. Shake it off. Shake off your arms. Here we go. All right, remember, start together. We're going to do a back fly. And then you're going to stop at the knee and do the front raise. Here we go. Back fly. Stop at the knee. Pull it. One, two, front raise. Bring it back. Bring them together. Back fly. Front raise. One, two. That's two. Back fly. Front raise. One, two. That's three. Back fly. Front raise, one, two, that's four. Back fly, one, two, that's five. Back fly, one, two, that's six. Back fly, one, two, that's seven. Back fly, one, two, that's eight. Back fly, one, two, that's nine. Back fly. One, two. That's ten. Woo! And now we're going back to those. Man, I should have switched the order because those overheads are so hard. So swing, press to overhead squat. Woo! Here we go. I can only do my best. That's all I can do. That's all I can give you. It's my best. And that's all I can ask from you. Your best. Here we go. Hinge and go. So hinge. Press. Lock. One. Press. Two. Swing. Press. Squat. Three. Swing. Clean. Press. That's four. Clean. Press. That's five. Clean. Press. That's six. Clean. Press. That's seven. Clean. Press. That's eight. Clean. Press. That's nine. My heels are coming up because I'm having a hard time with this. One more. Press. That's ten. Woo! So my heels are coming up slightly. I'm okay with that. All right? but I know I need to work on my range of motion. I need to work on that mobility. I need to do this exercise a little bit more often. So a little trick is put something, put a, little, put a little plate on your heels at first, if you wanna make it better, if you wanna make it easier. But learning how to do it without plates is probably the best case scenario because then when you wear like Olympic weightlifting shoes, it makes it a lot easier. All right, 90 degree bicep hold to ski your tricep extension. Remember, so we're gonna go 90 degrees. As soon as you get back here, immediately, notice how I don't stra straighten out my arms. I keep them bent and I go straight into the kickback. Right, 90 degree hold, and then I go straight into the kickback. With my elbows bent, I bring them in and straight. Don't, don't let, don't straighten it out. All right, even though we could do that, and then we're gonna, we're gonna actually that's a workout. I'm gonna, I'm gonna remember that one, because that one's actually excellent. Where you keep your arms straight, right? And then you extend them, and you go into extension. You can even do like a reverse extension. Let's do that, let's do that. I'm gonna switch it, okay? So the first one we do the kickback, the second one, okay, the second one, we're gonna go 90, 
Reverse. Right. 90. So don't reverse the grip. Just keep it, just straighten out your arms. Go into it. Go 90. Go down, straighten out your arm. And go get into the squat position. Swing it up. Come back to 90. All right? If you can't remember that, do the first one. But if you can remember, if you, if you can execute it, do it the way I just showed you. All right? Here we go. 90 degrees. Squat. Arms down. Extension. Come back. That's one. Down. Extension. That's two. Squat. Extension. That's three. Squat. Extension. Four. Squat. So notice how I go here. And then I'm going to throw them forward. Extend. A little bit of a pause on the extension. That's five. Squat. A little bit of a pause. Pause. Come up. That's six. Squat. Squat, right here, that's seven. Squat, that's eight. Go, that's nine. One more. Ah, that's 10. That was awesome, that was awesome. All right, and last but not least, we have the loaded swings. We got 10 swings. Let's just get it over with. Let's go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Outstanding. Outstanding. Guys, so what happened in that last one? So I started playing around with it. And that uh that skier. So what you do is you start 90 degrees. And then what I do is that I push the weights forward to straighten out my arms. I push it, I follow it, and I go one, two, come back. I squat, then I push straight arm, one, two, and I come back up. Woo, that's a, that's a new exercise. We got two new exercises. Woo! And now we're going back to Ladder number one. Back to ladder number one. And we're gonna go double round. All right, double ladder. Should be fairly quick. Make sure you're drinking, getting plenty of hydration. That was awesome. How's everybody doing? How's everybody doing? Marisol, beautiful. Give me a thumbs up if you like this one, if you like this full body. We're hitting everything, with the exception of maybe the chest, but I'm sure that chest is getting hit somewhere. It's definitely getting hit. Woo, let's see. So, round two. I'm gonna go 35s with the kettlebell. So, 35s with the kettlebells. And 35s with the kettlebells. And then for the dumbbells, I'm going to go 20s. Uh, I'm going to go 20s. And on those overhead squats, which are freaking hard, I'm going to deal with it. And if my, my heels come up a little bit, they come up a little bit. But I know it's something that I have to keep working on. I guarantee you, though, it's much better. I could not do that. Even with the heels coming up, I could not do that uh, I couldn't do that with a single arm, not too long ago. Now I'm with a double arm, which is twice as hard. And so it's time to uh, suck it up. Let's go. We're going back to the first one. So remember, it's swings, double-handed, single-handed, snatch, windmill, overhead squat, and the last one, I don't remember. Oh, so it's a... Uh, Side lunge, front raise, and I'm gonna do the. I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna do the same. I'm gonna do it with that with that kettle grip. Again, I put the link at the top. I put the link of tools. You can find the kettlebell there. I mean the kettle grip. You can buy it on Amazon, and it's a, 
It's a great tool to have if you have dumbbells. All right, here we go. I'm gonna use those twenties, all right? But right now we're gonna go. I'm gonna go thirty fives. We're gonna move. We're gonna move really fast. So try your best to keep up. If you have to wait a little bit to, to see how I do the exercise, you know, maybe you're gonna see me for two reps, but as soon as you get it, go. So we're gonna move a little faster. Starting with the double-handed swings into single-handed swings. We got 10 and 10, ready, and let's go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, Single-handed, let's go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Okay, bring it down. So snatch, windmill, snatch, windmill, overhead squat. Or press it, however you can get it pressed. On the windmill, look up and go as low as you can. All depends on your flexibility. Here we go. Snatch. Windmill. Overhead squat. That's one. Switch. Snatch. Windmill. Overhead squat. That's two. Switch. Snatch, windmill, overhead squat, that's three, switch, snatch, windmill, overhead squat, that's four, switch, snatch, Windmill. That's five. Let's go. Snatch. Windmill. Overhead squat. That's six. Snatch. Windmill. Overhead squat. That's seven. Here we go. Window. Over his squat. That's eight. Switch. Window. Down. Up. Down. Up. One more. Windmill. Overhead squat. Tight stomach. Breathe in. That's 10. Woo! Notice, guys, on the windmills, when I do the windmill, right before I take a deep breath and I contract and I hold until I get back up, I let it out. Then I take another deep breath. I hold it as I squat and I come up and then I go. You have to do it like that. If you don't have oxygen, you don't have stability, you don't have core control, you don't have support, and you can mess up your back. So make sure you're breathing correctly. Slow the exercise down and get a nice full dose of air. All right? Here we go. Now we have the... Side lunge to front raise with the, with the swing. So starting from a wide stance position, slightly, slightly wide, and then step to the side. Here we go. Contract your shoulder blades, that's one. Contract your shoulder blades, that's two. Contract, that's three. Contract, that's four. Contract, that's five. 
Contract. That's six. Contract. That's seven. Contract. That's eight. Contract. That's nine. Contract. That's ten. Woo! Back to the windmills. Here we go. Back to the windmills. Oh man, my watch stopped. So it stopped at the 30 minute mark. So I'm not gonna know how many calories I'm burning on this one. Woo, here we go. And but my, the, the whoop is. Here we go, snatch, windmill, let's go, ready. And so snatch, look up, overhead squat. That's one. Switch. Windmill. Deep breath. Squat. That's two. Windmill. Squat. That's three. Windmill. Squat, that's four. Window, down, contract, that's five. Window, that's six. Window, squat, that's seven. Window, that's eight. Window. That's nine, one more. Windmill. Down. Up. That is 10. And single arm swings, double arm swings, single arm swings. 10, 10, 10. 10, 10, 10. Here we go. Ah, and my socks have a hole. All right, single arm swings, let's go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, double-handed. One, two, three, four, Five, six, seven, eight, nine, single handed. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. All right. Back to the windmills. Snatch windmills. Here we go. Dig deep. This is a beautiful exercise right here. Here we go. We're gonna snatch and go. And snatch. Windmill. Overhead. One. Snatch. Follow it down. And That's two. Snatch. Window. And overhead squat. That's three. Snatch. Window. Overhead squat. 
Last four. Snatch. Windmill. Overhead squat. That's five. Snatch. Windmill. Up. That's six. Snatch. Windmill. That's seven. Switch. Snatch. Windmill. Up. That's eight. Two more. Snatch. Windmill. Squat. One more. Windmill. Squat. That is 10. Woo! Not easy. But definitely, if you can do that, the way we're doing it, you're literally at another level. Literally at another level. Because that is a whole lot of stabilization, a whole lot of coordination, a whole lot of mobility. So if you can do that to the T, you're in a good spot. Excellent spot. If you do it with like a half squat, whatever, but you're still doing most of it, you're in a very good spot. If not, you're working on it, right? Here we go. Side lunge to front raise. Swing and front raise, ready? Let's go. One, swing, side lunge, front raise. Two, swing, front raise. Three, swing, front raise. Four, swing, front raise. Five, swing, front raise. Six, swing, front raise. Seven, swing, front raise. Eight, swing, front raise. Nine, swing, front raise. 10. Woo! All right. Last set. Last set of snatch. All right, snatch to overhead squat. Here we go. Deep breath. Starting from the gorilla position, or if you're using a dumbbell, from the hinge position. Here we go. And Snatch, windmill, overhead squat. One, switch, snatch, windmill, overhead squat. That's two, switch, snatch, windmill, overhead squat. That's three. Snatch. Windmill. Overhead squat. That's four. Swing. Snatch. Windmill. Overhead squat. That's five. Switch. Snatch, windmill, that's six, snatch, windmill, squat, that's seven, snatch, windmill, That's eight. Snatch. Windmill, full concentration. Full concentration right here. That's nine, one more. 
We know. Ah, 10. Woo! That is the end of that. Now we got double swings and then single arm swings to finish. 10 and 10. Here we go. Single swings. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Double handed. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Ah, that is the end of ladder number one, double ladder. How are you guys doing? How are you doing? So we're already an hour in. So this next one, it's gonna be a single round, a single round. All right. And uh, that way we go into about 70, 75 minutes because uh, it is super hard. And uh, so it's gonna be a single round, this last one. <laughs> Marisol, that was hard, man. That was. That was tough, uh, but I definitely 100% need a heavier kettlebell. I need a 40 pound, 50 pound kettlebell. Um, it was hard, but uh, it wasn't rough. It wasn't tough. So I need to, I'm gonna buy a, a 40 or a 50 pound. I'm probably gonna go with the 50 and uh, knock it out of the park. So, all right, so. Olguita, fantastic, beautiful job. Kelly, Ceci, I know you're doing good. I know you're doing good because you're using a 25 pound kettlebell. Woo, all right. Here we go. Round two. So remember, it's double handed swings. The second exercise is, I don't know. Oh yeah, the 90 degree bicep hold. Two, the first time is a kickback. So you keep your arms close, you kick back, and you come back. Kick back the first round. Second round is extension. So you push forward, arms straight, come back. When we come back, all right? So that way we get both. We get the, the inner outer tricep, but we also get the long head, okay? So... Here we go. Here we go, guys. Marisol, excelente. Fantastic, man. Let's go. Let's do this. Let's finish strong. So I'm going to go with 20s. All right, I'm going with 20s. <sighs> Woo! So 10, 10 double loaded swings. Finish line right here. Finish line. Here we go. Start from your, your hinge position, right? So we're gonna hinge and go. And let's go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Beautiful, all right? 90 degree, 90 degree hold into a kickback, a, a skier kickback, all right, skier kickback, feet, feet are close stance, close stance, so start with a little bit of a swing to get that dumbbell up, especially if it's really heavy, if you got to go lighter, go lighter, we got 10, ready, and 90 degrees, squat, kickback, one, squat, kickback, Two, squat, kick back, three, down, kick back, four, down, kick back, five, down, kick back, six, down, kick back, seven, down, Kick back, 
Eight. Down. Kick back. Nine. Down. Kick back. Ten. Woo! Ah. So, swing to press. Overhead squat. Swing, press, and squat. We got 10. Holy smokes. This is hard. Wow. All right. Here we go. Ah. So swing, press, overhead squat. Only go to your abilities. Here we go. Swing, press, squat. One. Swing, press, squat. Two. Swing, press, squat. Three. Swing, press, squat. Four. Swing. Press, squat, five, swing, press, squat, six, swing, squat, press, seven, swing, squat, press, Eight, two more. Swing, press. Nine, one more. Swing, press. Uh, ten. Woo! Ah, that was rough. Back flies to bent over rows. Right, so back flies, sorry, back flies to a front raise. Two second hold. Only as high as you can go. Retract those shoulder blades. We have 10. Yeah, I'm breathing hard, man. But I gotta make sure that my breathing is correct. So, here we go. All right, so bend over, back straight, weight together. Give me a back fly. Front raise, one, two, that's one. Back fly, front raise, one, two, that's two. Back fly, front raise, one, two, that's three. Back fly, front raise, one, two, that's four. Back fly, front raise, one, two, that's five. Back fly, Front raise, one, two, that's six. Back fly, front raise, one, two, that's seven. Back fly, one, two, that's eight, two more. Back fly, one, two, that's nine, one more. Back fly, one, two, that's 10. <sighs> That is hard. Now, swing to press overhead squat. Probably the hardest workout today. Take a deep breath. We need, a, we need all our energy for this one. All your energy and all your concentration. All right? Here we go. Only do what you can. Avoid injuries, right? If you gotta bring down the range of motion, bring it down. If you don't wanna squat, don't squat. Just do the, just do the retraction. Hold it for a two, couple seconds, all right? Swing, press, hold it, squeeze those shoulder blades. All right, maybe just a little bit of a, of a knee bend, right? That's it, right? Knee bend hinge. Here we go. So to my thighs, 
Swing. Press. Squat. One. Swing. Press. Squat. That's two. Swing. Clean. Press. Squat. That's three. Swing. Press. Squat. That's four. Swing. Press. Squat. That's five. Clean. Press. Squat. That's six. Clean. Press. That's seven. Clean. Press. That's eight. Clean. Press. That's nine. Or eight. Clean. Press. One more. Clean. Press. Whoa. Done with that. And now we have the extension. So 90 degrees. Throw them forward. Straighten those arms out. Under control. Parallel to the floor. Hip hinge. Come back. Squat, all right. We have 10. Here we go. Head, feet together. On the outside, weights on the outside. Head, curl, squat, front. That's one. Squat. That's two. Squat. That's three. Squat. That's four. Here, pause a little bit on those extensions. That's five. That's six. That's seven. That's eight. That's nine. One more. That's ten. Woo! Ten swings and we're done. Ten swings and we're done. Deep breath. Here we go. And one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. That's it, guys. Woo! That's the end of the workout. That was literally an hour, about 20, so 80 minutes long. About 80 minutes long. That was rough, but fantastic. So according to the activity strain from, it was 11.8 and I burned about 600 calories. I'm gonna say 650 because it's a little bit under, but yeah, 80 minutes long, exactly. Awesome, beautiful job everyone, beautiful job. Thank you so much for showing up. Woo! I hope everybody's feeling wonderful. All right? Make sure you eat. Make sure you shower first. All right? (laughs) 
Ah, verdad que sí. Ceci, very quiet, but <laughs> when you're doing 25 pounds, kettlebells, you know, for you, that's freaking fantastic. That is awesome. Woo! Sí, Kelly, Kelly, hoy estuvo fuerte. Josephine, that was rough, right? Holy smokes, man, those overhead squats. But I tell you one thing, much better for me, much better for me. Again, it's about improvement. Even I can improve. Everybody can improve. And the whole point is to challenge yourself and take you to the next level. And then you sweat like crazy because you're stabilizing all your muscles, but you're healthier, which is fantastic. So, guys, thank you so much for showing up. Remember to check out the websites. Um, rec recommend my website. Put it on your Facebook, trainercarlos.com. Anybody who needs advice on training and there's packages, free training, everything. So thank you everyone for coming. And uh, hey, 10 to 15, man. 10, I only went up to 20, so um, no big deal. I, went, I only went up to 20. I, I was not going to go any heavier than that. I mean, that was, that was ridiculous. So great job, everybody. I'll see you all Friday, right? I'll see you all Friday for leg day, leg day. And uh, big kiss, big hug. Woo. <laughs> Kelly, eso es mentira. But yo también me tengo que ir a bañar. So, thank you, everybody. Marisol, Olguita, Josephine, Ceci, everybody who showed up. Thank you so much for coming. Simena, cuídate. Acuérdate, tírate. Stretch out. Later, everybody.